everybody. This is the last day of the month. If you're watching this on Patreon, you guys know you get it first. This is also a video that will be on YouTube, right? But the Patreons, of course, get it first. Let's talk about the crypto market, where we're at. So right now, you know, the market cap is still at 1.1 trillion. Bitcoin is still at 29K. XRP is at 70 cent. Ada is at 31. Solana is at 24.33. Shiba Inu is back at the 8 marker. Shiba had a nice pump a couple days ago. There's a lot of buzz now starting to happen because of Shibarium. Uh, Bone has also pumped the last couple days. Um, so what does this mean? Well, Shibarium, the buzz really kind of died down, right? Because we were waiting for Shibarium Beta to come out. And honestly, Shibarium Beta has kind of been a flop, in my opinion, right? But let's hope that Shibarium Alpha remedies that course. And let's hope that, you know, August will be a better month. Autumn is at 8.96. Right now, the Fear of Greed Index is at a 50. And guys, today we're going to talk about something that Shannon Thorpe said that is kind of making its rounds or going viral as I speak. Okay, so she works for Wells Fargo. Uh, she predicts XRP to hit 100 to $500 in the next two to seven months. Mm. Now, before I get into that, before I get into that, can we like get back to like a, a dollar first before we, you know what I'm saying? Before we make these bold predictions, but let's continue. Uh, Thorpe's commentary on price projection is comprehensive and thought provoking, ultimately setting at a hundred to $500 price forecast for XRP from September, 2023 to February 2024. She begins, she begins by acknowledging the long-standing curiosity surrounding price of XRP and the anticipation of its utility finally coming to the forefront. Now guys, the utility of XRP, I've been talking about this for years, okay? Uh, since 2017, borderless payments, fast secure transactions, better than SWIFT, all of that, right? Instri interestingly, she highlights a dividend sentiment within the XRP community, with one faction relying on chart analysis and historical trends for short-term price prediction, at the same time, the other emphasis, utility and the transformative potential of partnerships and system upgrades. Now, I do think that that's a great way to look at it because you guys know I'm big on utility because I think utility and adoption go hand in hand because for mass adoption to happen, you do need utility, right? And then, of course, you can't um, disregard technical analysis because technical analysis will not just help you out for the long term, but also the short term if you do day trading or swing trading and things like that, right? However, Thorpe takes a different approach altogether, asserting that both camps have missed the mark in their predictions. She points out that XRP is not a security. We already know that. Courtesy of the recent court ruling, as a result, she urged the community to abandon making price predictions based on traditional security valuation models. Instead, she advocates evaluating XRP's value based on its utility and real-world applications. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Thorpe also addresses Vahil Capital's white paper on XRP price, acknowledging the shock it may have caused among readers. As reported by the Crypto Basic last month, the white paper projected an XRP fair market value of 3.5,000 to 22,000. While Thorpe refrains from claiming expertise in the complex mathematics presented in the paper, she stressed that the disbelief from the community is due to constraint positioned in charts. And guys, listen, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you because I know price predictions is something that, let's be honest, a lot of people want to talk about price predictions, right? But uh, people don't want to get to that level, right? How do we get there? I'm talking about mass adoption, utility, uh, technical analysis, right? And I do think that 22000 for XRP is definitely possible within a decade. I think $1,000 is possible within about, you know, uh, a few years, okay? XRP's utility Remember, guys, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Let me just say that. Thorpe then turns her attention to XRP's utility by comparing it to SWIFT. She reveals that while SWIFT handles approximately 
44.8 million messages a day, it is only half of what XRP can accomplish, highlighting the untapped potential of the asset. So imagine what XRP could do, guys. Wow. Furthermore, she notes that XRP rapid settlement time taking one to five seconds makes it ideal for facilitating transactions more efficiently than traditional systems. In Thorpe's analysis, she first considers the potential scenario where a single entity owns all $100 billion XRP. This helps illustrate the necessity for a broader perspective when assessing XRP's liquidity potential. To provide a more realistic assessment, she considers the distribution of XRP across various banks, liquidity providers, governments, and exchanges. Thor proceeds with the calculations assuming there could be around 50 to 75 billion XRP in circulation at any given time, supporting liquidity strength. She takes the hypothetical case of 75 billion XRP in circulation for illustration purposes. Next, Thorp envisions spreading this among 300 to 1,000 different banks, liquidity, liquidity providers, and governments. To calculate the liquidity strength per bank or liquidity provider, she divides the total circulating supply, that's 75 billion XRP, by the number of entities considered, 300 to 1,000. So for instance, 75 billion XRP in cir circulation, Thorpe arrives at liquidity strength of roughly 75 million per bank or liquidity provider. She highlights the importance of considering factors like different bank sizes, the varying amounts of XRP yield by each liquidity provider, and the overall impact on liquidity strength. Considering top tier banks such as JP Morgan moving over $8 trillion daily, Thorpe speculates that capturing even 10% of that market would necessitate a significant higher XRP price than $1. She emphasizes that such an evaluation demonstrates how price predictions based solely on chart analysis may not accurately reflect XRP's true liquidity potential. As a result, Torb's detailed calculations provide a comp more comprehensive perspective on XRP's potential price ranges of $1 to $500 in the short term within four to seven months. At the current price of 70 cents, XRP would need a 14,000% surge to at $100 and a 71,000% surge increase to claim $500, okay? This content is, okay, so guys, you hear that? And, and so sh shout out to Shannon Thorpe, okay? And for those who want to, you know, follow her on Twitter or see more detailed of it, you know, do your own research, um, I highly recommend that you, you know, take a look at her. Here's her Twitter. This is very long, okay? And so basically they paraphrased it. But yeah, guys, um, you figure if, you know, the this is insane, guys. I mean, you got to also think about the market cap. But basically what she's saying is the fundamentals as, as we know it is is not the way that XRP will work because of all the liquidity that it would be moving, Right. Because of the fact that uh, you have different entities and banks that are going to be using it. And so you can't use historical data or things of that sort because of the utility. Just to keep it very basic. And so guys, um, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Before we jump out the window and, and talk about $100 to $500 XRP, my thing is this. Let's get back to a dollar first, right? Let's get back to a dollar first. I think in the short term... It, you know, I'm looking at three to seven dollar XRP right in the short term in the next, in my opinion, in the next four to seven months. That's what I'm looking at. OK, now, if if Miss Thorpe is right and we're looking at a hundred to five hundred dollar XRP in four to seven months, I would be very happy with that. But I think that, you know, four to seven months, we're looking at a, a one to five dollar, seven dollar XRP. And then who knows, possibly we could look at a $100 XRP in the next bull run. Or if there's a black swan event that happens that's triggered by maybe more bank failures, hyperinflation, and of course, CBDC rollout. That's the only thing I can think of. But, uh, or, you know, the, as the XRP army likes to say, the, the flip the switch moment, right? But I'm not, listen, guys, um, you know, it's always exciting to get these articles, but th we've seen this before where 
we just somebody comes out and and they, they just make these bold predictions and you know everybody starts wilding out and and whatnot and my thing right now is let's get back to a dollar then let's get back to the previous all-time high um and then whatnot but i do think that in the long term when you look at xrp if it's at 69 cents and you you know that xrp is going to go to a hundred to five hundred dollars in the future and even beyond that right xrp going to a thousand to possibly ten thousand dollars here within a, a decade right um these short-term prices of you know will it hit 90 cents or a dollar to me to be honest is is not as important if you're planning to hold for the long term now if you uh plan to hold for the short term because you're a day trader swing trader things like that look then i salute you you guys know what time it is i'm not hating i'm not i'm simply stating right i'm looking at xrp for the long term i think even when xrp were to hit ten dollars you're gonna have a lot of people taking profits because there's been a lot of people that have been holding since 2020 a lot of people holding since 2021 a lot of people heck even still holding from 2018 and 2017 okay um i think right now with the fact that you can get xrp on coinbase again uh, you know it i mean if you can dollar cost average dca you know that is a good strategy that's what i'm doing you know i bought some xrp on coinbase just to see if it works i mean obviously it worked but i just wanted to do because i hadn't done it in nearly three years right because that's where i used to get my xrp from originally was coinbase and then i had to move to qcoin and other exchanges to get it but i think that right now when you look at the iso 20022 protocol type of coins uh like xrp xlm and xdc those are coins that you definitely don't want to sleep on okay XDC Zimfin Network is a, is a great coin too that has all the functionality of XRP, but it's already smart contract enabled, right? And I've talked about this before. And I mean, XDC has gone up nearly 100% in the last 30 days, right? It was three cents a month ago. It's at six cents now. So it's been slowly pumping up. And if you feel like, oh, I missed out on XRP or you think XLM, at 16 cents is too high. XDC is still below 10 cents. And I think that this is going to be a great pickup. I think that in the future, XDC is going to be a, a $50 to $100 coin minimum uh, sometime in the future. And yeah. So with that being said, guys, uh, make sure to tune into the Patreon. Um, more to come. I'm, I'm, you know, more XRP, more XLM, more XDC, more meme coins, all of that. It's your boy Jones and I'm out. Peace.